Mm. Here comes Myanmar. Here comes Burma. You know what this means. Absolutely. You can't change it. Once it's changed, that's what this whole voice is about, a constitutional change. You can't you can't get rid of it. You talked about the challenges. I'll just come back to that point I raised earlier in the health system, arguing they must now address be addressed in Budget 2023. But you said that's got to start with a name for the health service that 99% of New Zealanders can understand, not Tawatu Ora. I mean, Tawatu Ora, does anyone know what that is or where it is? Well, about 5% might know what the Fata Ora means and the other 95% don't know. But a sick Māori going there doesn't, is not concerned about that. They want to know, am I going to get the kind of treatment that the money devoted to that should have been devoted to the specialists and the emergency beds for me to be in? That's what the ordinary Māori wants. And I'm making a stance on behalf of ordinary Māori from whence I came. I've never forgotten that. And you'll see this in Australia as well you will see that the things that the ordinary Aboriginal wants, Correct. they will not get serviced. Correct. Whilst the very people at the top, Correct. whilst they gorge this oligarchy at the top, they'll gorge at the top of this oligarchy on their people's needs, pretending to speak in their name, although they were never elected to do that. 100% correct, 100% correct. You mentioned before this New Zealand Transport Agency, Waka Kotahi. I mean, <laughs> what? It's not uh, on the road. What? Who would know Waka Katahi? Ninety-five percent wouldn't. Well, here's the point, though. Now they're changing the name, so if you're driving, you're paying attention, and you and you can't read it fast enough, you're likely to cause an accident, or if you if, because if, it's just too much to read, or you're likely not know where you're going because they're changing names, and people don't know what that means because well, they have, if for their lifetime and their parents' lifetime, heard it was so and so road or so and so place. We've even got the major railway centre in Auckland on the Waitamata Harbour, which serves 25 suburbs, is now called Waitamata for the train. Now, imagine the Waitamata is the water. That's what it means. So oh. these people, they are ridiculous and they need to be exposed for it. Absolutely. Well, and they're inverse racist. But also they're inverse racist. You know what an inverse racist is? It's someone that says, you can't progress without my help. How you like that? Mm. To all our New Zealand viewers, the man we're listening to now has said, and I quote him, that he will change all the woke virtue signalling names of every government department back to English, back to what they were before the academics from university sociology departments started this madness a few years ago. And you've said that Maori, who are, quote, secretly driving the agenda, just like Aboriginal activists here, were, quote, of the people, but not for the people. Just amplify that point again. Well, you know, the essence of uh, the description Lincoln gave for democracy, of the people, by the people, for the people. Yeah. But these people are of the people, but they're definitely not for them. And so they speak in their name. And when you ask them, who gave you authority? Who made you chief? When were you elected? They can't answer that question because they don't want elections. They want appointments. And so you've got dual, like the water system uh, that the Labor Party was trying to start, it's called Three Waters, would have Māori having half the say, and only local Māori would have half the say. So in the South Island, with every other tribe there from the North Island, that little elite would have half the say, and any decision has to be 75% approved. Therefore, they've got the total veto. Mm -hmm. See what happens happening here? Now, Māori in the Māori world understood that, the, that water is from a gift of God. They understood the sea to be also the highway for everybody. It's written large in Polynesian history. But no, no, they're saying we own the sea, we own the passageway, we own the water as well.